Hey everybody, it's Brooke and it's Thursday, which means it's time for more She-Ra and the Princess of Power. Uh, I got a little bit of a head cold, so I'm a little out of it, but I definitely still, I feel good enough to still try to be funny for you guys <laughs> and react. Um, if you'd like to watch the uncut version of this reaction, uh, you can check out my Patreon. It's linked in the description. Uh, we got uncut reactions over there. We got early access two episodes ahead. So for She-Ra, that's two weeks ahead. Uh, as well as some exclusive shows. And uh, I always am thinking about new stuff to add over there. Um, but last time, we actually finished season three. So, either the last episode you watched was the season 3 finale and you missed my bonus video where I did the character tier list, uh, or you saw the tier list. So, you know how I'm kind of feeling about this last season and how I'm feeling about everybody. Um, last finale was emotional. I cried a lot. <laughs> um, I don't think I'm the only one. I know people love this show and it's like, it hurts you right in the heart. Like, because you're so happy everything worked out okay, but Queen Angela has to, like, sacrifice herself. Um, and it was so sad, okay? It was sad. Um, but they were able to stop the portal for me to get up all of Etheria. But we did see that the message did get through to Hordak Prime. Uh, so they got a bigger threat coming. Um... We saw Catcher and Hordak go one way, and everyone else seemed to be going back to Bright Moon. And then Entrapta and Scorpio were together. I don't know if they went with Hordak and Catcher, or they're going to be on their own this season, which actually could be kind of interesting. Or if they'll come to Bright Moon and join the good guys. Um, this, I'm not reading that summary there, but the episode is called The Coronation. I'm going to assume that's about Glimmer, because with both her parents dead, uh, she's a princess who I think is going to become a queen. I don't know if she's still considered a princess, because she has powers, but I think she's going to become the queen, and I mean, there's no one else to do it. I mean, I think Glimmer's a good leader, and she has a good support system, so I don't think it will be bad for her to be the leader. She's already kind of the leader of the rebellion. She put the group together, you know. But And I think Adora and Obo will be there to support her. Uh, when it comes to Adora, I think it'll be interesting because we kind of saw her get answers to where she comes from. But not too many answers about Mara. Like, she now knows why Mara did what she did. Um, but we actually saw Mara in, like, the universe collapsing. So I wonder if that'll come back into play. Uh, and I am sure Katra is pissed, um, that she didn't get what she wanted, though what she wanted was everyone dying just to get Adora, like, be better than Adora. It did not work out for her. Um, but yeah, I'm interested to see, kind of, I assume the Hordak Prime and all the sh armies coming is the big thing they're going to be working against, but I'm interested to see if there was any time jumps, because, like, the last season finale was pretty, like, everyone was kind of going in different directions, so if we're going to see, like, where they settled out here, or if it's going to pick up right where the last episode left off, I'm not sure. Um, we're about to find out, so make sure you like, subscribe, and leave me a comment at the end of the video to let me know what you thought of the first episode of season four. And let's do this. Ooh, pretty. She look. Oh, okay. She's got a new outfit, and she looks older. Oh, she looks the same. Okay, they don't look that older, so maybe it's just a new outfit. But I thought she looked taller. That one. What? Oh my god, because they're planning the coronation. Oh, and Glimmer's outfit change. Who's that? New people! Mars Ghost! Oh my god, I'm so excited. It sounds so weird. It was gonna happen Queen eventually. Queen okay, Glimmer gets Glimmer. cool clothes, and you guys are still gonna wear that. You've got me and Bo beside you yeah, all the way. Yeah, you're not alone. We'll make sure this day is perfect. 
Don't get cast a this year. Come on. At least she's being nice. There's so much to do. And we're gonna make it perfect. All we have to do is keep her mind off. I think Angela. actually she needs to probably oh, face everything. those yes. feelings. Now come on. The whole thing ends with a grand ball. I do like parties. Ooh, you guys quest. know that. We're great at quests. <laughs> yeah. But now with her, um, her absence. So about that quest. We're great at quests, right? Guys, guys? it's yes, a yes. part of it's it. Awesome. I think it's okay to be happy and sad at the same time. And I think all this stuff has probably been distracting Glimmer, but I think for her to be ready to be queen, she needs to, like, face her loss and, like, those emotions because she'll be stronger for it. I will cry. <laughs> Sit around. Don't you worry about a thing. I think she's overcompensating a, a bit. Sorceress. I love it. <laughs> I wanted to do something special for you. This is going to be awful, awful inspiring, right? Ooh, uh, greet the guests. Oh, you need a bouncer! I'm on. Yes. <laughs> say bouncer. Uh. You know, I bet Mermista would what love to do What about, you know, Perfuma, who right, grows Mermista? flowers? Wow, how did you know? Oh, Is now a good time to talk about my song for the court? Oh, God, he's back. <laughs> require a stage and oats for the back of horses. And it says Glimmer needs to wear some kind of ceremonial robe? But I don't know where to get that. Maybe if we all look together. What? Don't worry. Mermista vases. Don't stifle my creativity. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stifle her. It's okay. Oh, it didn't completely get destroyed. It don't look great. Last plan was to set off the portal machine before. Yeah, he's pissed about that. That's Do kind of fair. How that ended. Zentrapta. <laughs> oh, I don't think you have to hear it. I told you. Never to mention that name in my it's presence. The reason you are standing here instead of facing what? punishment. Like, I don't get why she hates Adora no, but wants to hang out with this guy. Out. It's kind of a lot. I, it's a little look, big. Um, Can they, like, mend it? The quest we still don't know anything about. But it'll be fine. Cast a spell and we'll fix the robe. Bo has the lantern and I'll have you guys by my side the whole way. Right? Oh, I do Because I think we can calm down. I don't... Oh, <laughs> We just have to find the lantern, like, and Glimmer will be none the wiser. I'm a guest now. Can't you tell? I feel like Please she's still giving negative energy to Glimmer. To new queen. Adora, I, I literally think her helping save Adora means she shouldn't be executed, but she should still be in prison. I'm a judgy bitch. Anyone trying to sneak in? But I'm running out of space to put them. Stop fighting! You're ruining Glimmer's big day! Bouncer. Okay, has okay she is the most helpful. Lantern? Thanks, Swifty. And I'll present it to Queen Glimmer. Then she'll be all swift wind. Why don't you sing the coronation song you made up? She's like, give me the fucking lantern. And where's the lantern? Oh, I have it. And now, my song. Everyone knows that Glimmer would be happier with me on flowers. Frosta is trying to help, but it just adds to it. Oh. I don't... There's no fixing it. She's just sad her mom's not there. Let's just get this over with. Like, there's no like flowers, like songs. What are you doing it's in not here? gonna oh, fix uh, it. But um you didn't really want Entrapta to stay on Beast Island forever. Entrapta betrayed us and got what she deserved. But she didn't betray us. And she was right. If Adora hadn't shut it down. <laughs> How dare you say that name? Betrayed Hordak. Got it? Scorpio, I don't think it's safe for you here anymore. Now get this place cleared out. Oh, Emily. Don't I'm gonna cry. Don't let anything happen to you. I wonder if the Moonstone will know she's not in the right headspace. To witness the crowning of Queen Glimmer of Bright Moon as she completes the quest of queens. Let the light guide you. I feel like she's gonna go through a lot of emotions on this quest. Got a quest! Can we just do this, please? She doesn't I don't wanna think about flowers or colors or stupid decisions. Wow. I don't think she wants to pretend everything's I can't okay. These tunnels have been right underneath our feet all this time. Stop acting like yes. this! She like doesn't what? want people to pretend like, it's normal. Like, like this! Look. I think, I think this is the Chamber of Queens. 
I think it's for the lantern. See, you gave her something to do. No, it's kind of cute. Is this part of the quest? I, I think he's gonna try to eat you. You probably have to fight him. She literally has teleportation. Some mention of a bright moon guardian that we'd have to subdue. That would have been nice oh, to know. Confusingly worded. I, I can't teleport. Oh. I haven't been recharging my powers. What? Uh -huh. Recharging would mean taking the moonstone's full power for myself. Oh. Everyone is already acting like she doesn't matter. It's like no one remembers her. Oh. I'm already crying. Not. The show. I just thought guys. talking about oh. it. I'm supposed to take care of you, Glimmer. It's the last thing she asked me to do. I don't know either, but maybe we can still figure it out together. Ugh. Whatever path you choose will. All this is a really good moment of showing like how people grieve differently and like react to different things when they're grieving and like their thing was it hurts to talk about hers was no one's talking about it so am I not allowed to talk about it. Um, yeah, I think that's really relatable to be like, if no one else is talking about this traumatic thing that happened, am I being annoying or wrong for needing to talk about it? Um, and I think that's really important because you should always be able to talk about the things that are hurting you. Always be there, right beside <sighs> you. We're great at quests. <laughs> then come on, let's do this. <laughs> Why is he gonna cute though? Whoa, nice move. She is getting way better when transforming it. Oh, hey, Over here! No. I'm Queen Glimmer of Bright Moon, and you will leave my friends alone. He's like, oh, we're cool. Okay, it looks like they're not real wings, but like, she got the power. Glimmer? I'm gonna cry. Are you fucking kidding me? Now, my darling, it's your turn. I wish I didn't have to leave you. And I know you'll be all right. I am so proud of you, Glimmer. I love you. You okay, Your Majesty? As long as you two are with me, I am. Oh. Now, come on, let's get out of here. Oh, superhero landing. <gasps> no. Guys, don't you love watching reactions of the person just crying the whole time? We wanted it to be perfect. She's got this. Sacrificed herself to save Etheria. We can't let her bravery be in vain. We can't let them win. Hell it's yeah! Time for us to take back our home. Yes. Oh, they're going on the offensive, baby. Ooh, new outfit. Queen behavior. Oh, I think she's kind of over. Oh. Oh, she's taking control. Kind of iconic behavior. What do you want? We're done with your little vanity projects. Gone. Full villain. I think you and I are going to do great things together. Uh, <laughs> Catra's going full gaslight geeky girl boss mode right now. <laughs> uh, okay, that was probably the best first episode they've had. Uh, I think, or at least my favorite first episode of a season. I cried through most of it, um... Hopefully you guys did too. We can have a good cry together. You know, it's therapeutic. <laughs> um, I'll go Horde first, I think, because there was a little less there. Uh, Hordak still doesn't want to hear about Entrapta. Sounds like Entrapta actually is on Beast Island. I thought maybe Scorpio wouldn't send her there, but sounds like she did. Obviously, she needs to be saved. Maybe Scorpia can get a message to Bright Moon that Entrapped is on Beast Island so they can save her. Because I'm sure they don't know where she is. They don't know that she changed her mind about, like... Like, they know she changed her mind about the portal, but not if she would want to come back. Um, so I'm sure they don't know what's going on there. 
Um, we can see Catra going full, uh, <laughs> full villain mode. Um, yeah, well, she's turned from I thought she was Zuko, and now I'm like, oh, she might be Azula. <laughs> um, but Scorpia, you can definitely see, wants to protect Emily and is feeling very pushed away by Catra. I wonder how far we'll see that go this season. Um, but Catra, like, kind of taking charge, I think is good, because she's been trying to get Hordak's approval for so long. I think if her character was still doing that, it'd be kind of boring. Versus her being like, no, actually, fuck you. I'm smarter than you. I'm in charge now. I kind of like that. Um, not that it's good for our Bright Moon team, because Catra is cutthroat. Uh, but speaking of Bright Moon, I was obsessed with that storyline. You guys know I just love the aesthetic of Bright Moon. Um, and I love Glimmer, so this episode really focused on her and her grief and her growth and where she's going in the future, and kind of stepping into herself and who she's going to be, uh, was really beautiful and heartfelt and very emotional. Uh, I think I can also relate to Bo and Adora in not knowing really how to identify exactly what my friend needs when you want to help them grieve something like that, because you're like, okay, like, do you need me to act normal so you can just not think about it for a little while or do you need me to sit here while you cry like everyone else needs different things and I think it's just being able to tell your friend and ask and be like what do you need from me because even if they don't know they'll know you're open for anything and they won't feel like they're weighing you down with their grief uh and we see that when the group realizes they're like kind of focusing on the wrong things and when they stop trying to compete to be the person who's helping Glimmer the most and they just focus on what will actually help Glimmer, it works out really well. Uh, the part with Glimmer not recharging her powers because it means admitting her mom is really gone is like, I'm crying just thinking about it. That was really emotional and the voice actress did like an amazing job. Um, and I just, you guys know I love Glimmer and Adora and Bo's friendship, but really Glimmer and Adora and their understanding of each other and Adora's protectiveness of Glimmer, it's just, it's really beautiful. Um, and this season really already feels with one episode, like they're super stepping it up. Uh, I know it's double the episodes of season three, so I'm really excited. I'm going to watch episode two today as well, but... That is it for this Thursday. If you'd like to see my reaction to episode two, you can go check out Patreon. But if not, I will see you next Thursday, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.